Hello my friends, welcome back to Hoogie Place, the trucker's vlog part 21. Uh, in this episode we will, uh, or I, I will uh, travel to Stockholm to buy my own truck as I mentioned in the last vlog. So uh, this vlog will be a little different than the other ones uh, because I will uh, show you when I configure and buy my own first my first own truck uh, it will be a Scania uh, because uh, that is my favorite brand and um, in the my career so far I have only discovered uh, an Iveco dealer and I will not uh, buy the Iveco not yet at any way uh, perhaps when the S way is out then I can think about it but uh, so far I have not uh, discovered any other dealers so it will be Escania it will be uh, the new generation one probably the uh, the R version but and uh, now I can buy my own truck uh, with some sort of decent configuration because I have reached the level 8 uh, here in my experience and uh, I've also earned a decent amount, amount of money uh, but I have not earned uh, as much as I need so I will need to go to the bank and take out a loan I will borrow as much I can as I can because I don't know uh, how much I will I will spend and um, yeah I can repay the the rest that I don't uh, use so Let's uh, travel to Stockholm and to the Scania dealer. And here we are. I will not buy uh, this uh, streamline. I will look for the Scania R version. This is uh, a truck that I can buy at this level and I will customize it. Um, high roof of course and three axles the long the longer version of the th three axle because that is my favorite uh, this one is white i will uh, definitely buy the white one but i oops sorry um, i will um, i will take the white white wine uh, one <laughs> like that it's a very it's a very uh, neutral and uh, still uh, good uh, color to work with when you don't have that m many options to uh, configure so white and black for example is in my opinion very nice uh, engine I have a lot of engine mods um, that is one <laughs> one thing that I cheat with uh, actually so uh, yeah I will choose this uh, Scania uh, V8 650 horsepower the transmission is the standard model and when it comes to interior you see this is the standard dark if you take the standard gray you get this and I actually like the standard dark more even if I don't like it at all uh, but I cannot do anything about it now uh, this truck will be a work in progress because I will try to uh, try to uh, build it up uh, during the game so let's put on uh, put on on some lights and some other things uh, i i love lights uh, in um, every way so uh, yeah i will uh, take you with me on this uh, configuration
Okay, it's starting to get close now, and uh, we'll just uh, take the interior, and then we are almost finished. So uh, there's not not much to do here, but uh, I will <coughs> have my own. I will have my own. Um, uh, plate for my name, Hoogie, lighted plate there. I will have a truck table. Uh, these are by racing. I really like them. Um, I love lollipops, uh, but I cannot find those that um, that shine uh, that are, that that are lighted. But uh, they, this will these will have to do. For the moment, uh, let's, let's see interior lights. Uh, red, good. Red is always nice uh, at night. A Wunderbaum, of course, and um, standard steering wheel. Uh, there are. I have some mods. Uh, these are in the SASL Mega Pack, but I'm, I don't like them. I would. I would like to have. This, for example, uh, the Scania. Uh, let's take a look at this. It's good, but this uh, thing here, it, it would be better if they turned it around because this uh, ends up in the middle of the dashboard and I don't like that. So uh, until I find a better mod, I will go with the standard one. A pillow here. Home sweet home. I could have a pillow and a TV or just a TV, but uh, no, that's too much. So uh, I will have a, a pillow there. And you see the V8 light sign there. And uh, other than that is, well, not much, much more to say. Some, uh, some, uh, yeah. Of course, I will have these. Um, I will put this one up here. No, that one is better. And you need to have those uh, toll devices. I will have this one for Scandinavia here. And I will have uh, this one for uh, down south. And if you haven't seen them, they end up here. So, so now you can travel um, through the customs without having to pay, it, or at least it should be like that. So this is what it looks like now. <clears throat> Things will uh, happen, of course, uh, when uh, when I uh, when I. Uh, reach new levels but uh, this is uh, what it look like, looks like so far and this will be my first truck and I will uh, I will uh, of course uh, um, is it there is it, it's something that I'm missing <laughs> that's why i well i can change that later so no nope, i'm satisfied like this uh, this will be my new truck and i will uh, hopefully drive a lot of miles in it something like this at least i have a decent truck and i have a lot of lights so yeah uh, 2.6, almost 2.7 Swedish crowns, 270,000 euro or something like that. And uh, yeah, let's purchase. Thank you for buying.
So, my friends, that was uh, all for today. Let's hear the sound from the V8. Great, great, great. And uh, let's take the handbrake and see if we can um, take a look at it. Inside my garage, ready to uh, go for the first drive. Uh, yeah, looks looks good. I think I really like those uh, those Scania, small Scania uh, lights uh, there. Yeah. So, my friends, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Please uh, come with me on my next journey. That will be my first with my own track. And uh, forgive me for taking so much time configuring this. But uh, well, now it's uh, finally done, and uh, I'm uh, satisfied. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.